So someone asked um, how I would set up my Marshall Mark 5 25 for a blues gig. Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. We'll show you the settings that I've got on here right now because I had a blues gig on Saturday and these are the settings that I used. Um, just for the sake of interest, I'm miking up the amp with uh, a Shure SM7B um, and my cabinet is an open back wide body uh, with a black shadow in it I think. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing. The clean channel I've got running in fat mode with gain at just over 9 o'clock. Treble is just over midway at about 1 o'clock. Mids I've got right in the middle. Bass in the middle. Presence at about 11 o'clock. And the master obviously you'll adjust depending on how loud you're allowed to be on the gig. So um, this is staying clean. Um, I guess the other thing to think about is whether you wanted to have a bit more gain than that and use your volume knob or, or not, depending on what kind of player you are. Uh, if I remember correctly, on the actual gig I accidentally had it in punch mode. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend if you want to get some cleans, but it does back off and... So yeah, I, I would run it in fat mode. Uh, at the moment it's on 25, but you could also run it in 10 watt mode. Um... Depending on whether you wanted the tubes to work a bit harder or whether you wanted to have more headroom. Anyway, so that's um, the clean channel, and just a quick note about how I run the EQ. Um, so, I basically use it as a boost. Uh, so that's off, I believe. And that should be on. So not that perceptible here, so I might notch it up a bit, but at, at gig volume you'd probably be able to tell the difference a bit better. So that's the way I use my EQ. Uh, I take roll the top off a bit more and boost some of the low mids um, and the bass. Um, I find that's a more useful way for me to use the EQ than the typical kind of uh, V thing that you see some metal players do. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm using my EQ as. I'll use it as a boost just tame some of the top end but give me a bit more body uh, for the single note stuff. So just that's with the boost off. And so is that. Brilliant. So I find that also could free up some space on your pedal board if you've got a booster on your pedal board. Right, so now on to um, the second channel. Uh, so I have this set on the Mark II C setting. Um, and that's probably not really how you ever heard a Mark II C sound before, but it's a blues gig, you don't want to go crazy. Um, so that's quite quiet at the moment. As you Crank the master up a bit, I imagine you'll get a bit more. Um, now you could adjust that to have more presence if you wanted. Uh, at the moment I've got that so that I can still get a nice tone on my um, bridge pickup. 
Um, and I was also using a tube screamer on this gig, and a, well, the Strymon Sunset, which has a tube screamer and a JFET boost on it. But so yeah, anyway, those settings, I've got the gain about the same level as I had on the, the uh, clean channel, um, so just past 9 o'clock, uh, the treble just under 11 o'clock, well, under 12 o'clock, maybe half 11, 11. The mids I've got at about 1 o'clock, bass at about 1 o'clock, and the presence I've got at about 10. And the master, again, obviously you can adjust. Um, but that to me is quite a nice, controlled, but warm... <laughs> still hearing some clean coming through which is kind of a typical bluesy tone I, I would say um, as you crank the gain a bit you get some other things going on and um, uh, for me on a blues gig, I wouldn't necessarily want to use much more gain than that unless I was boosting it with a, a, a tube screamer or something. Um, obviously, there are other schools of thought on this. Um, you've got like the Joe Bonamassa or Gary Moore style, which is kind of a lot more gain than this. Um, and then I can also use the boost. set up my Mesa for a blues gig. Um, let me know below if you've got any other ideas of, of what you do. I also do like that crunch setting on the, the clean channel. Um, though it's very loud, sorry. suggest trying. Um, both the fat and crunch setting sound decent with those levels I'd say, if, especially if you're using a strap. Um, try this with the EQ, uh, reverb obviously set to taste and then your massive volume you're going to change up depending on how loud you're allowed to be on the gig. Um, but yeah I'd say that's a good place to start and generally if your amp sounds good with things in the middle position you're probably, you've got the right amp for you I'd say. Um, it just so happens that this Mesomark sounds pretty spot on how I want it to sound with everything more or less in the middle position which is kind of cool except for the gain obviously um, so yeah check those settings out uh, I think cabinet will also play quite a big role in this if you've got a closed back cabinet I'm not sure uh, I'm not really an expert on cabs or anything um, I'm not sure how that might affect the tone speaker choice again can make a massive difference um, so that might be an area you need to look at because I have had one person say to me they were trying to get like that Andy Timmons because he did a Mesomark uh, 525 demo and he said he couldn't really achieve the same kind of tones with his setup and he was using a rectifier uh, cab uh, as in a I think it was a, a 1x12 still but I think that that would come equip equipped with a V30 which is a, an entirely different kind of sounding speaker so for me, I like to go for an open back cab, and this one is pretty much my favourite thing that I've heard. Um, so, yeah, try that.